I can tell you with absolute certainty that it is not the real world that we live in. So we need to start over. In late 2024, Google's new quantum processor, Willow, solved in minutes what would take the universe's fastest supercomputer longer than the age of the cosmos to finish. And here's the bombshell. Some believe this isn't just a milestone in computing. It may have exposed the deepest cracks in string theory itself. What you're about to see is how Google's quantum AI has collided head-on with string theory's biggest failures, and why that could decide the fate of the so-called theory of everything. This isn't just another tech breakthrough. When Google's quantum team leader, Hartmut Naven, suggested their machine might be tapping into parallel universes for its incredible power, it triggered a scientific firestorm that reached the highest levels of theoretical physics. Because if Willow is right about how quantum reality works, then string theory might be wrong about our universe entirely. And the implications are staggering. Even Leonard Susskind, one of string theory's founding fathers, now admits we may need to start over. The theory that promised to explain everything might explain nothing about our actual reality. So what happens when cutting edge quantum computers meet a theory in crisis? That's what we're diving into today. The new crisis framed by Google Quantum AI. Let's get specific about what Google's quantum beast actually did. The Willow processor with its 105 qubits completed a calculation in under five minutes that would take our most powerful supercomputer about 10 septillion years to solve. That's 10 with 25 zeros after it, longer than the universe has existed, multiple times over. But the real bombshell came when Hartmut Nevin, the founder of Google's quantum AI team, made a jaw-dropping claim. He suggested Willow's mind-bending performance lends credence to the notion that quantum computation occurs in many parallel universes. This wasn't just a technical achievement, it was potentially experimental evidence for the multiverse. Think about it. The idea that our reality might be just one universe in a vast sea of possibilities has been floating around string theory for decades. Now, suddenly, a machine built in California is generating real-world results that hint those other universes might actually exist. So what happens when a machine built in California suddenly raises questions about the fabric of the entire cosmos? Think about it. Willow's 105 qubits can explore a state space larger than the number of atoms in the known universe. Now, here's my question to you. What if this colossal space of possibilities is nature's way of whispering that reality itself is information, not strings? And before we reveal what that really means, make sure to subscribe because we're diving straight into the biggest shakeup physics has faced in decades. The same week Google announced Willow's results, one of String Theory's founding fathers made a confession that sent shockwaves through the physics community, the Swampland and DeSitter simulation. That confession came from Leonard Susskind himself, who admitted, String Theory is not the theory of the real world. We need to start over. After decades of work, one of the theory's founders just raised the white flag. But why? The answer lies in what physicists call the Swampland problem. Here's the deal. String theory generates an unimaginable number of possible universes, 10 to the 500 power. But researchers like Kumrun Vafa at Harvard discovered something shocking. Most of these mathematical solutions might be physically impossible. They're in the swampland, theoretical quicksand where the math works but reality can't exist. And there's growing evidence our universe might be trapped in this swampland, the smoking gun, our universe has what physicists call positive cosmological constant, the dark energy causing space to expand faster and faster. But string theory naturally prefers universes that either stand still or collapse. It struggles to produce a universe like ours. This is where Google's quantum computer enters the picture in a way nobody expected. For the first time, we have a machine that could directly test this fundamental problem. Now, imagine using Willow to actually simulate a de-sitter space, the kind of universe we live in. If the simulation fails, it's a direct clue string theory cannot describe our reality. If it succeeds, we'd have the first computational evidence that string theory might work after all. This isn't just blackboard mathematics anymore. It's experimental physics using quantum computers as cosmic test labs. 
Some physicists have already proposed using quantum processors to simulate toy models of expanding universes and see if they remain stable. But the weirdest part, Google may already have run an experiment that hints at something even stranger. The wormhole simulation and lab holography. In 2022, Google's team pulled off something straight out of science fiction. Using their 54-qubit Sycamore processor, Willow's predecessor, they simulated a quantum wormhole. Not a visual model, but the actual quantum physics of a traversable wormhole. The experiment showed information flowing through the system in exactly the way it would through a genuine wormhole in space-time. As physicist John Preskill explained, the evolving system of qubits has this really cool alternative description. You can think of the system in a very different language as being gravitational. This wasn't just a cool tech demo. It was the first experimental test of what string theorists call the holographic principle, the mind-bending idea that our three-dimensional reality might be encoded on a 2D boundary, like a cosmic hologram. Scaling this up, Willow could someday test whether holographic duality, a cornerstone of string theory, actually holds. That's like moving string theory from the chalkboard into the lab. Imagine what happens next as quantum computers grow more powerful. We could simulate black holes evaporating, test whether information is truly preserved, and explore the deepest questions about reality that have stumped physicists for decades. So, if Google can prove holography in the lab, what else about reality can they uncover? Let me break this down super simple. Imagine you run a video game on your computer. On one side, code. On the other, the 3D world it creates. Holography says our universe might work the same way. Google's quantum chips are like peeking into the code directly, but there's another shocking twist that's making physicists question whether reality itself might be one giant quantum computer. Whispers of a cosmic code. And here's where reality gets truly strange. Years ago, physicist James Gates made an accidental discovery that shocked the scientific community. While studying supersymmetric equations related to string theory, he found embedded within them the exact same error-correcting codes used in browsers and digital communications. Not similar codes, the exact same mathematical structures we use to prevent errors in computer systems. Gates famously called it finding the maker's markup in the equations of physics. This discovery raised a profound question. Could the laws of physics themselves be written in the language of information? Is reality, at its most fundamental level, a kind of cosmic computer code? Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. When Google researchers ran certain open-ended experiments on Willow, something bizarre happened. Engineers described the output as looking like alien hieroglyphics, or an enigmatic cosmic QR code full of intricate mathematical structures. Even more fascinating, some patterns in these outputs reportedly echoed those same error-correcting codes Gates had identified in supersymmetry. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe the first glimpse of physics is literal code. This isn't just theory anymore. Quantum AI is starting to test whether string theory's language even matches reality. Google's machines aren't just solving problems. They might be revealing the hidden scaffolding of existence itself. The question becomes more profound than we ever imagined. If reality is written in code, as these error-correcting patterns suggest, then who or what wrote the code? Is our universe a running program? 
And could quantum computers be the first devices capable of reading this cosmic source code? What do you think? If reality really is written in code, who or what wrote it? Drop your theory in the comments before we reveal what scientists are saying about this idea. AI as the successor to string theory. The plot thickens when we consider what's happening with artificial intelligence in physics right now. A. Einem Chak Zamokat Dolgoz. Kazed L. Gondol Kodni. Mint Egi Physicus. Take DeepMind's recent breakthrough with symbolic regression in physics. Their AI rediscovered conservation laws from raw data alone. No human guidance, just pattern recognition at a cosmic scale. This marks a fundamental shift. AI is moving from analyzing theories to potentially creating them. Researchers are now training neural networks on both physics data and mathematical frameworks simultaneously. The implications are staggering. AI systems can explore mathematical spaces humans can't even visualize. They can test millions of theoretical combinations in days rather than decades. Some researchers believe the first post-string theory might not come from a human genius, but from an AI trained on physics itself, a GPT for physics, that could propose an entirely new framework for unification beyond strings. We're witnessing the birth of what some call automated theory generation, where machines don't just solve equations, but write them. What took Einstein years of solitary thought might take an AI quantum hybrid system mere hours. This represents a profound shift in how science advances. For centuries, breakthrough theories came from individual human insight. Now, the next revolution might emerge from silicon mines scanning the mathematical cosmos. And it's not just fantasy. Projects combining quantum simulations with machine learning are already underway at institutions like Caltech, MIT, and yes, Google. They're building systems that could discover patterns no human would ever see. But before we imagine the future, we need to understand just how string theory got into this mess in the first place. So, what exactly is string theory, and why has it dominated physics for decades? At its core, string theory promised something revolutionary, to unite quantum mechanics and gravity into one elegant framework. Instead of point-like particles, it proposed that everything in the universe, every electron, quark, and photon, is actually a tiny vibrating string. Different vibration patterns create different particles. One mode gives you an electron, another a photon, and theoretically, one would give you the graviton, the particle that carries gravity. This elegant idea spawned tremendous excitement in the 1980s and 90s. It gave us mind-bending concepts like extra dimensions, where our three-die reality is just a slice of a 10 or 11-dimensional universe. The extra dimensions would be curled up, invisible, at scales too small to detect. It introduced supersymmetry, the prediction that every particle we know has an undiscovered partner particle. And it gave birth to the holographic principle, the radical notion that all the information in a volume of space can be encoded on its boundary. On paper, string theory looked beautiful. It suggested quantum gravity is possible without mathematical inconsistencies. It even provided potential solutions to the black hole information paradox. But after four decades, the cracks have become chasms. Leonard Susskind, one of string theory's original pioneers, made a stunning confession in 2024. String theory is not the theory of the real world. We need to start over. The crisis has several fronts. First, those extra dimensions. Not a single experiment has found evidence for them. Supersymmetric particles. The Large Hadron Collider has searched extensively and found nothing. Worst of all, string theory produced not one unique solution, but an incomprehensible 10 to the 500 power, 10 to the 500 power possible universes. A number so vast it has more zeros than there are atoms in the observable universe. And we have no principle to select which one is ours. And yet, even as the theory unravels, Google's new tools may offer its only shot at survival. So, here's the irony. String theory wanted to explain everything. Instead, it explained too much. 105 billion 10 to the 500 power, 105,000 possible universes. But a quantum AI doesn't care about overwhelming numbers. It can sift through them like flipping through a playlist. 
That's why this collision between theory and technology matters so much. What makes this moment truly extraordinary is that we're moving from blackboard equations to laboratory tests. The abstract is becoming tangible. Several major experiments could soon deliver verdicts on string theory's viability. The Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, DESI, is mapping the universe's expansion in unprecedented detail. If it detects subtle changes in dark energy over time, that could validate new string-inspired models of an unstable vacuum. Plans for the future circular collider, with energies far beyond the LHC, could finally detect supersymmetric particles or microscopic black holes that would signal extra dimensions. But the most exciting frontier might be much closer to home. Tabletop quantum gravity experiments are becoming increasingly sensitive. These setups look for quantum interference patterns in masses that would reveal space-time fluctuations at the Planck scale, the domain where string theory operates. And of course, quantum computers themselves are becoming experimental platforms. Imagine Willow's successor with thousands of qubits simulating a quantum black hole's evaporation, directly testing whether information is preserved as string theory predicts. These aren't distant dreams. They're active research programs happening right now. The answers they provide could transform our understanding of dark energy, resolve the black hole information paradox, and even redefine our concept of time itself. For the first time, the question of whether our universe is coded, holographic, or something beyond strings isn't just for philosophers. It's becoming testable in the lab. This convergence of crisis and opportunity signals a profound shift. We're entering an era where our deepest questions about reality aren't answered by lone geniuses scribbling equations, but through a partnership between human creativity and machine intelligence. String theory may be in crisis, but thanks to quantum AI, for the first time in decades, physics may be moving closer to answers instead of further away. As Leonard Susskind advised young physicists, follow your curiosity. Even if the consensus says it's too hard or crazy, the path forward may require bold new thinking beyond string theory, or a radical reinvention of it. The grand irony is that string theory sought to explain the universe through tiny vibrating strings. But what if reality is ultimately information? Quantum bits rather than physical strings. That's the tantalizing possibility Google's machines are helping us explore. If our universe is coded, if information is fundamental, then every atom, every particle, every force is essentially data in a cosmic program. And if reality is information, then every one of us is part of a cosmic code. Our thoughts, our choices, our consciousness itself might be expressions of the universe's underlying information. We stand at a crossroads where our most advanced technology is probing our most fundamental questions. What is reality made of? Why these laws of physics and not others? Are we alone in the multiverse? Don't miss what comes next. Hit subscribe and join us as we follow the machines that might finally crack the code of the universe.